Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Tesla charger or wall connector, how Tesla calls it. Um, I'll show you how to connect the wires, how to run the wires. Now we are in California and in California has a law where the builder of the house needs to put a conduit in the wall for the uh, new owner to be able to run the wires, to be able to install a, a car charger or EV uh, charger. So. I'll show you how to install this, how to run the wires, how to connect the wires in the panel, and um, we'll go from there. But before we do this, remember to subscribe, uh, leave me a comment, and if you need to see other videos, let me know. All right, let's go. When the house was built, um, we have a conduit already put in by the builder. This conduit goes into the box where the charge is gonna be installed. Uh, we're gonna run the wire through the through that conduit into the breakers. Uh, we don't have to go down here. I thought we might have to go here, but we don't. The conduit is different. Let me show on the other side. All right, as you can see, we have that blue conduit coming into this box. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to mount the support the base of the charger um, and then uh, we're going to mount the charger, pull the wires, mount this um, and then uh, we're going to mount the charger. Try to push the wire from here. Now in the panel, you always want to be careful. You don't want to touch anything in here. Let's see on the other side. All right, so the wire is on this side. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tape off. All right, so this charger requires two lines and a ground. So basically you have line one, line two, and ground. And this is a single phase 240 volt system. All right. We are gonna mount the charger on this metal piece right here on top. And then on the bottom, we're gonna put a butterfly in there. This way it's gonna, it's gonna give it a really solid connection. Basically the wires are gonna come through here. Just like that. And then we're gonna pull more, cause I'm gonna go around like this. Just like that. And try to get this level. Now we can do this. Okay, let's see here. We have a 1032 screw right here. I'm gonna tie this down because I wanna make sure that the base is level and then I'm gonna have to take it off to be able to drill the hole for the um, bottom. Okay, let's see, this is gonna work just fine. Just like that. Okay. This is where we need to drill our hole for the butterfly. And now we're gonna take this off. So this is how the butterfly is gonna sit. 
in the wall. Now what we're gonna have to do, this hole is gonna have to be big enough for this thing to pass through. So we're gonna do this. So now we're going to mount the base plate of the charger. The butterfly goes in. This butterfly, I believe, is rated to 40 or 50 pounds. Again, we have this metal box behind it, and then we use this as a support for the plate, for the base. really solid. I'm loving this. They're really nice and solid. This thing is not going to go anywhere. Okay, let's check on, see if it's straight. Very nice. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the wires. We have ground line two and line one. Our ground is going to go around like this. And then our lines are going to go around like this. Now Tesla do and they show you a red and a black. It doesn't really matter which one is red, which one is black. In this case, because we are on a single face. All right, we're going to strip the wires. Just like that. Tesla came with the tip for the connectors here. Uh, we're gonna run the wires on the bottom here and then this tip goes inside. I'm gonna have to strip just a little more just to make sure we have a good contact. Okay, that's one. So that's our ground. So we have a zip tie 
a zip tie that allows us to get the wires tucked in there. Just like that. The zip tie is a really good idea mm -hmm. because it keeps the wires tucked in there when we install the charger. They are going to sit really nice and tight. Make sure that these are tight. Tug of war. All right, so we have the wires already connected. Now the charger has four screws on two on top and two on the bottom. Tesla gave us four screws that we're going to use the same Allen wrench. Once we install the charger, we're going to put these screws this way. The charge is not going to come off. You do have these connectors in here, right? The charger is going to clip in right in there. Let's see here. You cannot go wrong with this. It's really nice and tight, it's just a plug-in. Okay, now the challenge is to put the screws in there. We have this little arm wrench at the hood. So we have this L wrench that the charger came with. You could use a drill. You could use a screwdriver that has a tip, or you could just use your own Allen wrenches. It's nice. Bottom. Nice and tight. All right, onto the panel side. We have, again, like I said, we have the wires, two lines, and a ground. We're gonna land the ground on the on the ground bar, and we'll put a 60 amp breaker that Tesla recommends in there. Okay, so this wire is the grounding. It's gonna go onto the ground bar. We'll cut this. A little bit more. I don't need all that. We always recommend hiring an electrician if you don't know what to do. The process is very simple. If you live in Sacramento area, mm. give us a call and we will help you. Okay, we have the ground wire installed. All right, so we have the 60 amp breaker. That's going to go right in here, just like that. So we have the 60 amp breaker that's gonna go right in here. Now what I like to do, I like to strip the wires first and then put the breaker in, put the wires in the breaker and then put the breaker in. It's, it's easier to work with it like that. You can lay some extra cable in there just in case. Stuff needs to be moved around. Again, we have two lines. In this case, we have two blacks. You could add red tape just to show the difference, but it doesn't make any difference. 
when you have a single phase. Want to tie the wires down. Now it's tight. The breaker has got these two connectors right here that we're gonna have to push in the back. All right, the breaker's in. Tuck the wires in a little bit more. And turn on the breaker. Let's go on the other side. All right, we got the green light from Tesla. You could probably set it up to control how much is charging from the phone. But um, this is the process on how to do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Bye.